I just wanted to demonstrate this little trigger flash that I made here. This is just a little Radio Shack project box and uh, this is actually a flasher out of a fire alarm. Basically when you turn the unit on, pressing the button triggers the flash. And it, it always holds a charge too so you're going to get one more flash after you shut it off. Um, like I said, that's uh, out of a fire alarm. I was actually able to obtain the patent for it and discover that this component right here is what actually triggers the flash. So, this is what the unit looks like uh, outside of its casing. Um, basically, that switch is connected. I took this out. This appears to me to be a transistor but it should be something known as a SIDAC 40, SIDAC 40. I'm not, uh, I'm not really clear on what that is. Um, however, this part is this trigger right here, which actually triggers uh, the band around this bulb, which makes uh, the gas inside of here conductive and, and discharges capacitor one through, through the bulb. Uh, these, these are especially important because uh, they're fast flashes, meaning once they trigger, they're going to flash almost instantaneously. I mean, as far as uh, photography goes, it may as well be instantaneously. And uh, anyway, the system that I got set up here is uh, I also have a, an external trigger. This is basically just hooked into parallel with uh, this button right here, so I can have an external switch. You'll notice that uh, I have this hammer, and it is hooked up to that switch right here. Oh, there we go. If you'll notice, these two these two points make contact, which is my switch. And if I were to plug this into here, and then. Plug the unit in, turn it on to charge it. I always turn it off because uh, I'm afraid that the capacitor will overcharge since there's nothing to trigger it when it gets to the proper breakdown voltage. But anyway, when the hammer comes down, you'll notice it flash at a certain point. And this allows me to capture pretty much anything I want with a hammer smash in it. You know, eggs, uh, um, glass, whatever. And uh, also, I have this switch, which, this is a normally closed switch, so it would be in its open state, and this is just another option I have when I'm, when I'm taking pictures. Uh, I, I've strapped this to inner tubes before to blow them up. When the inner tube blows up, it releases the, the button. I've also had this on a teeter-totter system where when... Uh, something would come down on one side of a table, like if you were to drop something, then the table would lift off of the switch and then capture the photo. But these are all just little devices that, see, that I've come up with. And uh, that's basically it.